Hello and welcome. I am Dr. Anil Joshi. Welcomes you to my series that is Learn Radiology with Dr. Anil Joshi. Today's topic is based on MRI physics. That also a component of MRI unit which is called as cold head. Cold head is a very important part of the MRI machine because it serves a good purpose, important fu functions which we are going to see subsequently and more than that it needs a maintenance and if it is not done then it will result in the quenching of the helium. So to keep helium in a proper track the cold head has got a major role to play. Now we will see today what is a cold head, how it works and why it is really so important in MRI machine and why its failure to maintenance will cost a heavy damage. Let us get going to the lecture that is over radio physics. Now to start with are the disclaimer, disclosures and also acknowledgement. Most of the material which is used in this uh, presentation is from our department which is coming from many years. However, there are some illustrations which are downloaded from the net which we have confirmed are royalty free. However, still we acknowledge them with thanks for all this to help us to make this teaching lecture. It is going to be purely used for teaching, not for commercial use and therefore there are special thanks for them. Now let us get going to the MRI cold head. What is it? It is a mechanical assembly which is important in the circuit of a MRI circulation. Now for that understand what is a MRI suit? MRI suit has got different component, different room. Most important which we are dealing today are the magnet room. In the magnet there are different components. Out of that we are going to talk about the MRI tube head. This is in a magnet room. We are going to show you how it looks and where it is situated. So also it has to be away from a machine zone, computer zone, operator zone because it may lead to sometime quenching of the helium if it is not maintained properly. Now how tube head works? Inside the cooling system, in the middle of the uh, this track that is helium which is circulating is a part called as a tube head. The cold head recondenses the helium gas to the liquid form to prevent it from burning off entirely. So, in case if it failures to work, there will be loss of helium and helium is the heart of machine without the helium machine cannot work. The measure of the cold head performance is called as recondensing margin. So, this is the main function that is to recondense the helium into a liquid form and MRI cold head is a mechanical device that recondenses helium gas back to liquid after it has cooled the magnet. So, it first circulates through the magnet then there is cooling of it and after cooling it get heated because of the work it has done or because of the magnetism it has produced. So, its work is to get back to the liquid form from the gaseous form. This prevents helium from burning off. So, tube head prevents helium from burning off, keeps magnet at a required temperature and prevents magnetic quench. Now why magnetic sh magnet should be kept at a proper temperature? To maintain the superconductivity. So if you want to have a good superconductivity, there has to be proper maintenance of the temperature. Now you know what is the boiling point of helium? It is minor 269. So it boils at that temperature minus. So, it cools the uh, magnet, it keeps the superconductivity at a magnet level. Now, inside every MRI magnet unit, a cooling system containing thousands of liters of liquid helium is kept for cooling. The helium is exposed to high temperature causing it to turn liquid to gas. That, where that happens? That happens in the magnet, main magnet. where to keep the superconductivity, it needs to cool it. 
a part called cold head is kept inside the cooling system so that the helium will be circulated properly and not only properly it will be put back into the liquid form then mri cold head is a mechanical device as i told you it recondenses the helium so that is the main function of the cold head then it also prevents it to uh, prevents from boiling off because if you lose the helium that will be a heavy financial loss and repeated filling may cost also wastage of time and less patients turnover inconvenience to the patient inconvenience to the staff and also it prevents quenching because quenching is one of a thing which no nobody likes because you lose all helium in one quench now cold head perform how it performs it like puts into liquid helium from gas to, to put into liquid it's a mechanical device and how its efficiency is measured that is by recondensing margin now cold head performance is measured by recondensing margin at what we have seen this measurement indicate the cooling capacity so that's how you know whether it is working efficiently or not it is situated within the mri console though each system is different each system has got their own designs however tube head has to be there it is irrespective of the machine make and design it require regular maintenance it's a mechanical part so it needs maintenance failure to do so will result in catastrophic failure of mri system which can negatively impact time revenue performance and patient care patient will have inconvenience so it is extremely important that it should function properly as the mri cold head ages it loses about 10% of its cooling capacity every year so every year there is aging process every year there is deterioration of work this is a result of volume continuous cooling work it has to work 24 hours it has to work 365 days of a year and eventually it will have to get wound off which is approximately 10% of the if reduction efficiency per year as a rule a cool head or cold head will last for 2 to 3 months before it has been replaced so either maintain it properly check its efficiency if not after 2 years change it there are two primary reasons for cold head to fail one is contamination and the other is worn out parts because it is a mechanical and mri cold head can become contaminated as a result of impurities in the helium or because of the oil found in the compressor that migrates into the cold head and reduces its capacity its efficiency and ultimately it should fail so that should not occur this often occur because of the saturated filters or absorbers so there are everywhere saturation because there is continuous use also for this filter which are mainly used for the compressor so if they get saturated with the impurities they are absorbing they start leaking it into the helium chamber and therefore into the tube head this can occur gradually over the time it's not a one day process which that is why it is important to perform routine maintenance now how to prolong cold head life for long life of cold head it is important to use high quality replacement part and a knowledgeable field engineer so it's a not a work of a any any uh, anybody it needs to be a specialized engineer who perform the test and then he suggest you certain things a substandard replacement parts are used if you use substandard parts then or if there is a faulty installation that will result into the tube head efficiency decrease and this will this will be helium there will be helium contamination which will ultimately shorten the life of a tube head and it will you will have to do more repairs and more problem because there will be more downtime and there is there always risk of a quenching make sure that uh, cold head goes to dynamic test instead of bench test why 
in dynamic test you are doing it while the parts are moving and a bench test is when you are not moving the parts are not moving and still you are performing a test you can get this which means that at one particular situation the tube head is good tube head is working does not mean that it will work in all the positions. So, what is alternative is to perform a dynamic testing. So, these are the advantage of dynamic testing instead of bench testing. So, always insist for a dynamic testing instead of bench testing. Even in spite of that, there is no guarantee it will work in every position where it occurs in bench test. That is why it is not done because it is done at one position. So, you do not have a guarantee that it will work in all the positions. Now, MRI magnet can be remotely monetized so that a potential problems are diagnosed before cryogen loss occurs. Now, this is the best part with the manufacturers. They have got constant eye on your machine and your cold head. Precise nature of problem can be detected with a real time push monitor and alarms. This will help to respond to a problem quickly and in time to prevent the major catastrophic accidents. Now, here we are seeing first is a compressor, then there is a gas supplying and gas returning. There are two ends for the compressor from one it receives from other it sends. Then there is a cold head as you are seeing on the top the cold head. Then there is a vacuum chamber, then the temperature sensors, then the radiation shielding, then there are vacuum pumps and there are heaters. Now, see all these things are required for proper functioning of a cold head. So, cold head is you can take it as an important part of the machine, it needs to be maintained, it needs to undergo multiple tests at different time and that also not a bench test but a field trial test you have to check it when it is working. If you take all this care your tube head will last long, you will have less problem with the magnet and you will have less downtime. With that we thank you for giving me your valuable time. Please visit our website for comprehensive and detailed lecture on this topic and also on many other topic. Our website addresses and YouTube channels are given. Do visit it. Thank you, goodbye and take care.